I actually pretty much dream about sailing every single night. From the moment I wake up until the moment I go to bed. Where the next step is, what do, what do we need to work on? What can I do at that moment to get just that centimeter closer to getting on the podium? I've always been a competitor ever since a young age, and I think this is kind of where I chose to put my drive. After I got a silver medal at the Volvo Youth Worlds in Kingston, Ontario, I remember looking at the girl with the gold medal and saying, I want that, that's, that's what I want, that's my dream. Sailing is kind of like a real life game of chess. You're fighting, you know, kind of against all these other players and you don't know their move. The minute that you think, you know, the race is over, there's nothing left for us to gain here, you start forgetting about making the, the best decisions going forward. So in those moments is when it's the hardest. You really want to try to stay mentally in it. The person that can kind of accept the challenge and, and try to conquer it and get that, you know, that's, that's who's going to win. Our PR person calls us Team No Filter because we will pretty much say whatever, whatever is on our mind. There's a lot of stress that goes into the sport. There's a lot of things that um, you can't control. It is part of being an athlete. It's the hardest part because we're perfectionists. You know, we, we want to be perfect. Every time we talk, it's it's about how are we dealing with the anxiety of, of you know the 15 months and sailing in Rio in 2016 and having it be a one specific event that's important. Our success is kind of intertwined, but I would want to rely on no one else in the world other than her for that. We try really hard to stay focused in the present and to live in the present and not worry so much about the future because really that's where people crack. 